So did you know that blue whales can go to depths of 500 meters, which is pretty amazing, but this can go to 600 meters. Welcome back to Time on the Wrist at Chisholm Hunter. My name is Harrison and today what was on my desk was the Amiga Planet Ocean 600 meters. So let's get into it. So I did start this video off with a bit of a weird fact about blue whales. And the weird fact was they've been known to dive to 500 meters. So let's talk about the depth that this can go to. It can go to 600 meters, which is pretty outstanding. I mean, will you ever go to that depth? Maybe not but it can do it. Let's talk about the specs that make this a uh, tool watch, a true tool watch. So the case diameter comes in at 43.5 millimeters, but on that note, it doesn't feel that big. And there's a couple of different reasons for this. One is that it still has a bezel. So that kind of brings the case in that little bit or the, the, the dial in that little bit. And the second point to me is that this is black. Now, black tends to camouflage size in some situations. So it doesn't seem to wear that big. So let's dive right into, I keep saying dive, it's probably because it's a diving watch. Let's get to the thickness of this watch. So it comes in at 16.5 millimeters in thickness, or actually it's just dropped to 16.3. So it's a thick watch. And the lug width, the lug width comes in at around 25 millimeters or maybe just above 25 millimeters which is which is quite interesting i mean it's smaller than i thought it would be for for, for a tool watch the lug width is an interesting one to me because some watches have smaller dials 38 maybe 40 millimeters but they have big lugs they have huge lugs and that's what makes them feel and wear that little bit bigger and when you compare this which comes in at about 23 millimeters to my Amiga Seamaster that I have on. It also comes in at about 22 to 23 millimeters. This is slightly bigger, but you then need to remember that this can go to double the depth. So that's quite impressive. Now we get to the measurements. Now we get to the weight of this watch. So this Amiga Planet Ocean comes in at 217 grams. And just for reference, let's get my Seamaster on the scale. So this was 217 grams and my Amiga Seamaster 300 meters comes in at 112. There's a big difference there. But on that note, you need to remember that this has a bracelet and this has obviously a rubber strap. So there's going to be some weight difference there. But this feels, it's funny to say, but it feels more sturdy. It feels more durable. I mean, this, I've taken the Amiga Seamaster 300 meters to, I mean, everywhere with me. And it survived everything that I've put it through, which is quite surprising. But this, I feel like I could drop it from a skyscraper and it would survive. Moving on from that, let's talk about the specs and the, the look and feel of this watch. So the case is made entirely from stainless steel and obviously it has a stainless steel bracelet. Also, a little point is you can actually change the stainless steel bracelet to the NATO strap, which looks pretty awesome. This model obviously has the escape helium valve on the left-hand side, which is iconic to Amigas. And then it also has a screw down crown on the right. But an interesting point about this is that I actually have an Amiga Seamaster 300 meters on and the crown and also the helium escape valve are a little bit more elongated, a little bit longer. So I've heard mixed reviews about this. I mean, obviously I love it. I've, I've, well, I've I purchased one, I have one, but some people think that they're maybe a bit too much. So maybe they would opt for this sort of flatter, more, more subtle design. The bezel on this model is pretty attractive. I mean, it has the orange splash of color on the right-hand side at the top right-hand side, and then it goes to black. It's black against orange. It works, that contrast is fantastic. And then we get to the silver numerals, which still stand out majorly against that black. So it's very, very readable. You also have a dot at the 12 o'clock mark just above the 12 o'clock mark on the bezel of the loom, which looks insane. And then you get to the functionality piece. This piece remains a tool watch. The teeth are a lot larger than my Amiga Seamaster 300 meters. And do you want to hear something pretty satisfying? Listen to this, listen to this. You like that? <laughs> That's just a watch lover's dream right there. Listen to that. Let's move on to the dial. Let's move on to the details on the dial. The dial on this one is a, it's a funny one to me. I mean, it wouldn't normally be what I would go for, but 
I think it works. I mean, there's a couple of things that I would maybe change just because I'm pernickety and you guys know me, but I think it really works. So firstly, we start with the, the black liqueured dial and it's, it's nice, but to me, I would have loved a sunray finish through. I just think that completes the watch and gives it a little bit more depth. Having said that, I do love the fact that it's really, really clean. I mean, there's nothing to take away from simply reading the time. So maybe that's why they've done it. Maybe there is a purpose behind it. After all, this is a tool watch. It has been built for a purpose, uh, the purpose of diving to 600 meters. So why would you need an extra depth? Why would you need sunray? Well, you wouldn't. So maybe that's why they didn't put it in. So I understand why they haven't done it. It also has a date window at three o'clock. And actually, uh, normally I would want to move the date window to six o'clock, but because it has the 12, six and nine markers, these three just here, it still has that symmetry. It doesn't lose any symmetry. So actually the three o'clock date window, it works. So the date window, I mean, it works. I really, really like it. It does keep that symmetry, but I mean, imagine if it was orange, how cool would that be? The 12 o'clock, nine and six markers, as well as the tip on the second hand are actually orange. And I mean, orange against black is a killer combo. I think it looks really, really cool. Then you get to the loom. Of course, this is, this is a fully functional dive watch. So it has the little dot on the bezel. And the loom actually is a combination between green and blue. Looks really, really cool. And let's get the flashlight on and let's show you it at the moment. So this right here is the loom and you can see the combination between the green and the blue. I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of my favorite bits about this watch. I mean, look at how stunning that looks. To add to the fact that it's obviously a tool watch, it has domed sapphire crystal glass on the front and also an open case back. Now, you might be wondering why I was had the loop and I was looking at it. It's because the, the movement is just beautiful. But we'll move on to that in a little bit. The bracelet is a incredible feature on this model and it remains, I mean, the, the key word here is tool watch. It remains a tool watch. It actually has micro adjustments and you'll see just here, you can push this little button down and micro adjust it just there, depending on how thick or how slim you want to make it. I have quite slim wrists, so I'd probably have to remove a few links, but if you're wearing this over your wetsuit, that comes in handy because you can actually extend it that little bit further. If you want to take a closer look at this Amigo watch or any in the range, remember that Chisholm Hunter are official authorized retailers. Head to chismhunter.co.uk. That's chismhunter.co.uk. Let's move on to the movement of this piece. The, the, the thing that I was staring at through this look because it's beautiful. There's the Amiga Caliber 8900. It has 60 hours of power. It's COSC and Meta certified. And let's dive into it a bit further. Before we dive into that detail, this has gone cold. So give me a second. <laughs> so I have got my coffee. It's just one of those Mondays, even though, even though it's a Wednesday. So the magnetic uh, fields, it's resistant to 15,000 gauss this moment, which is pretty impressive. It means that when you're going through, you know, airport security that you don't need to worry that it gets magnetized. It has a free sprung balance with a silicon balance spring. It has two barrels mounted in series and it's automatic winding in both directions. We have covered the bezel, we've covered the dial, we've covered the movement, but what we've not covered is the price. It comes in at 5,560 pounds. To top it off, there's different colors, the different metal types, there's different strap or needle strap or whatever you want. There's different options. My personal favorite being the white dial with that orange. I just think it's really iconic to Amiga and obviously I have a white dial Seamaster, so I'm maybe a bit biased. The thing about this watch is to find a diving watch in the industry that can go to 600 meters water resistance, that's cost and Metas certified, that has an open case back showing the beautiful Amiga movement. And, you know, is from a retailer similar to Amiga or to the same caliber as Amiga. It's pretty rare. I mean, a Range Rover, what's it called? What's Defender. It? A, a Defender or a Land Rover Defender. It can go off road, it can go through rivers, it can go everywhere. It's not the fact that you'll ever take it to do that but it's the fact that it can do it. Looking at the industry as a whole, watches are becoming more and more ah, designer. They're, they're less and less becoming about the tools, about what they can do. But when you strip this watch back to its bare bones, it remains at its core a tool watch. 
I mean, looking at the bezel, it's got the notches or the teeth in the bezel that make it easier for divers to turn it with the grip. It's unidirectional so that the divers can't knock it and it goes back. It's, it just remains a tool watch and that's what I love about this watch. So if you're looking for a tool watch, if you have a genuine passion for diving, this is the fully functional dive watch. There's no question. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Time in the Wrist at Chisholm Hunter. If you want to join the Chisholm Hunter watch community, make sure you subscribe here. If you want to see more from Amiga, make sure you hit it here. And if you want to see the watch vlog where we take some insane watches to amazing locations, make sure you click here.